We have just a little Cali bubbly on a warm day in Northern California. Let's get it. Welcome to another episode of Wine Sale of the Week, where I go find a bottle that is under $20 that's punching above its weight class. Hey, what up, everybody? Welcome to another episode. Uh, very happy that it's the end of the week. It's been a, it's actually been a good week. It's been a very, very nice week. Uh, other than my son having his shots, he's been kind of dealing with that the last couple of days. He had four shots, uh, two in each leg, uh, and it feels like I felt so bad watching him because he it was, you know, it's no fault of his own that he's gonna be put in this kind of he got put in that kind of pain, and you know it's. You watch your son uh, start crying like that. I guess one thing when he's just frustrated crying, I'm okay with that. But when he actually is in pain crying, it's a different type of look. And this one, like he's had shots before, but when they happened, he'd get over them so fast. Um, like he'd take the shot, take a really quick cry and be done. This time, uh, he the cry was a little bit longer. And then on top of that, the last day and a half, two days, uh, he has he had a little bit of a fever. Uh, his fever spiked a little bit, and so he was uncomfortable. And just seeing him being uncomfortable and and not feeling good, and that was that was a, a rough couple days. But um, he's doing he feeling he's feeling better now. Um, had a nice little long bath earlier today, and feel like his mood and his temperature dropped a little bit. Feels like his mood's a little bit up uh, now. Thank God. So anyway, it's, other than that, it's been a really good week. Um, and with that said, let's get into the wine today. I want to. I'm gonna be rather quick, because um, yeah, I'm just gonna be rather quick today. Um, we have sparkling wine, as you can see, um, and we're in California, of course. Uh, this is called the Unruly Rampant, non-vintage, um, made from Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier, and also some Chardonnay. So all the grapes that they use in Burgundy and Champagne too. Um, before I get into the wine, I want to say this. This is dedicated to my homeboy, John. He brings us over. So we have this kind of tradition whenever um, like we go hang out uh, to watch football or whatever. Um, he all, we have, He's my gin martini guy. Like That's the guy who I drink all my martinis, well, most of my martinis with. And so we'll grab a bottle and we'll get like three quarters through that bottle. And he'll say, um, car wash in the mouth time. Which means he wants bubbly because that's what he calls it. He's like, after drinking heavy, then you want something to kind of clear all that. And so he always loves sparkling wine. So last time he was over here, he brought this bottle. And um, this is uh, this is going to be under the mark for Wine Seal of the Week. And so um, I'm looking forward to sharing this on camera and letting you guys know what I think about it. Uh, so let's get right into it. Shout out to John. And welcome back to California. He's been on a business trip for like the last 10 days, but I'm glad you're back. I'm ready for some more football, brother. All right, so on the nose. Pear is the biggest thing that jumps out at me with this. Um, there's always like, there's also like a secondary of like citrus notes, and I'm trying to pinpoint what kind of citrus this is. Give me a second. I'm definitely getting like orange uh, citrus here, and I'm also getting like a like a kind of like a, a Meyer lemon thing too. We got something that's weird that I normally don't get. I'm catching a little bit of like a slight ginger here. And kind of like a white pepper. I'm also getting lychee fruit and white flowers here too. Let's go ahead and taste and see if everything's translating to the palate. Nice grip. Um, great acid here. Yeah. So let's talk about structure first. Um, I would say uh, medium, uh, medium plus acid here. Um, long finish, nice long finish. Um, pretty consistent on the palate from the beginning to the end. So yeah, up front pear. Um, as it tra as it goes down the palate, that lemon was that Meyer lemon was a great uh, pickup on the nose. Definitely here. Also that or kind of orange zest thing is here too in the mid palate. Um, then it kicks in with this like nice like kind of minerality on the finish that I'm digging. Um, there's also like that uh, kind of herbal. There's something herbal here that kicks in the third quarter to the finish, and also like that little bit of a ginger kick too on the finish. It's a really, really good wine. N nice middle route, or sorry, nice earthiness too in that third quarter. It's a really good wine, man. I really dig it. I love the mouthfeel here. Um, I love the length of the finish. 
Um, this is one I think you can go with a lot of different dishes. The one thing that is really jumping out to me um, when I tasted this was uh, triple cream um, cheese. Like that's something that's really rich and creamy. I think this would be a perfect wine for. I think it cut right through all the mess um, and pair really well. Um, I also was uh, thinking about something random like popcorn. Um, you know, like maybe truffle on like uh, truffle truffle salt on popcorn. Um, I think this will go really good with that too, as long as the truffle's like more of a lighter truffle. Um, that pear is like very consistent from the beginning to the end. This is a really good wine. Um, if I'm rating this wine, I'm gonna call it Wine Still of the Week. We'll be right back. If you know me, you know I love hats and you know I love wine. So why not do wine inspired hats? Go check them out on my online store. I have wino hats. Brown wino hats, black wino hats, fig hats. I think you'll enjoy it. Cheers, guys. Now back to the show. Uh, I'm going to say 89 points for this, uh, which is really good for California sparkling wine for me. I'm, I'm kind of hard on it. I tend to like champagne more. Um, fancy accordance, too. I, I tend to like those, too. But this is really, 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 really good uh, for the for the price. Uh, the steal here is uh, this is that BevMo for nineteen dollars, so if it's right below the twenty dollar mark for our wine still of the week. Um, um, I recommend this guy's. It's done in the traditional method, like France and stuff. So, uh, so uh, if you get a chance, go check check this out. Um, other than that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Uh, definitely, if you've not gotten a chance to check out um, the Valley of Hearts Delight, the last fiction that we just uh, added to the list on. Uh, on uh, Grapes and Sand Publishing. Go check that out. Uh, Jafari Joseph is the author, and it's a wonderful book, wonderful fiction. Um, hopefully soon we can get into the audio book version of this. I'm um, looking forward to sharing that too. And other than that, question of the day. If we're talking about California, and we're talking about sparkling wine, what is your favorite house in California? Um, everybody has different places. Like People like to stay in Napa. Some people love Sonoma sparkling wines. Um, I tend to be on the weird side of being, I like uh, Santa Cruz Mountains uh, sparkling wine, um, but which one is yours? Um, other than that, guys, I hope you have a wonderful week. I, I hope you have, oh, sorry. hope you have a wonderful weekend, and until next time, cheers. One note that I forgot to mention that I think is really pronounced here now that some air has gotten into this because I really just opened this bottle up. It has this really nice tart white peach thing on the finish that I am digging. This is that's what's making this what's elevating this quite a bit. That peach, that that stone fruit is beautiful here. It's like perfectly pure pure white peach. Yeah. Just wanted to share that. It's really, really good.